Welcome to iFly FSX. Flying using the VOR navigation is a great satisfaction. You will always know where you are in the skies. Knowing the frequency of a VOR will always let you know if you are going away from or to a VOR. This is the KGSO airport where we're going to take off. Knowing how to taxi at an airport is very important. You might want to check out my other video. And this is the KRDU airport where we're going to land. Here we're going to set up the flight plan through Sky Vector to point towards the VOR. That was the GSO VOR, now the Liberty VOR to the RDU VOR and finally the airport in KRDU. Here's a map of the VORs and the headings. Let's go ahead and create a flight plan in FSX. We will pick the KGSO airport for takeoff. Then we'll select the KRDU airport for arrival. We'll be flying with the visual flight rule VFR flight plan type. The routing will be VOR to VOR and we will find the route for the flight plan. There is the map. We're going to go ahead and add an extra VOR, the GSO VOR at 116.20 frequency. Here is the map with all the VORs. Let's look at the navigation log. Here we will depart at KGSO to the GSO VOR at 116.20 heading of 215 to the Liberty VOR at 113, heading of 131, to the RDU VOR, 117.20, heading 088, and finally to the KRDU airport. Let's go ahead and save our flight plan. Here is a visual of our flight towards the VOR. Let's set the transponder to 1200 for the VFR flight rule. Now let's set the GSO VOR frequency to be 116.20. Let's make it active. And let's make sure that the NAV1 is working. Okay, good. Let's turn it off. Now set the OBS to 215, which is the heading for the GSO VOR and because we are flying to the GSO VOR make sure that the arrow is pointing up. The distance to the GSO VOR is about 3 nautical miles. Now we're going to set the heading bug to point to the GSO VOR which is 215. We have clearance for takeoff, so let's go ahead and proceed to the runway. We are going to take off from runway 23. Okay, let's get lined up with the runway. Let's give it a little bit of rudders and a little bit of RPM, full RPM right here. And we're going to rotate about 55 to 60. Let's keep lined up with the runway. So our next move right here is going to be to head towards the 215 heading which is the GSO VOR. We have 
transponder on 1200 for VFR. We have a nav one set to 215 radio. You can see the needle moving a little bit on the 41, but that's okay. You just want to get towards it. Once we leave the airport, we're going to start to turn left towards heading 215. Turn gently to the left the GSO VOR is about 2.8 nautical miles towards us steady climbing Good. We are climbing about 700 feet. We are reaching soon 3000 feet. And we are about 1.7 nautical mile. Greensboro Tower, Cyber November 25086 is 1. A little bit of adjustment for the heading. We have just left the Greensboro airspace and we are now VFR. Don't worry too much about the uh, needle and the nav one to be uh, centered. We are already aware of the heading, the distance, so eventually we're going to actually pass the Vought Tower and you'll see the needle move a little bit and the up arrow to the Vought will go neutral and eventually will point down meaning that we are flying away from the GSO 4 we are still climbing there he goes, did you see the needle? he went centered, neutral and soon enough he'll go from there it is he pointed down and now we are ready to move towards the other VOR which is the Liberty VOR at 113.00 heading of 131 go, we got it centered to the Liberty VOR at 113 let's modify the heading bug to be 131 heading Once this is done, let's go ahead and turn towards the heading of 131. Approach. While turning, I uh, still maintain a climb. We are about 4500 feet. Airport is 
go, let's adjust the turn, and go heading of 131 or so. You can see the distance in nautical mile is about 22. Eventually, because we are flying to the Liberty Vor, the needle will center itself, meaning that we are going the right direction. Climbing at 5,000 feet. Throughout uh, this flight, I've used the trim and the RPM, reducing a little bit of RPM will allow us to go in cruise mode and stabilize on the climb. My goal here, because of the flight plan, I will be climbing to 5500 feet. Once there, I will reduce RPM and I will be cruising towards the Liberty Board. As you can see the needle is getting towards the center there. Almost at 5,500 feet. Heading is good. Distance to the Liberty by 19.5 nautical mile. And the needle is center. Everything checked out great.